Welcome to Shred. I'm Michaela. I'm your group fitness manager at Logan. Shred is a um, high, I would say high intensity meets resistance training workout where we couple resistance moves with other moves, okay? So go ahead and start to roll your shoulders back. How I've kind of altered this workout to, to meet your home needs is we're going to put both of those 90 second sets together and we're going to do one long set of three minutes doing one exercise for 10, uh, for 10 reps and then switching to the other for 10 reps. So let's go right into a jumping jack. If you live in an apartment building or you have neighbors underneath, you can modify this. Either way, I want to see your arms super long, touching the hands at the top. Good. In four seconds, we're going to turn this into a squat jack. So touch, touch. You're going to dig into your glutes, into your legs. Again, if you have neighbors underneath, step out squat. Good, we have about 15 more seconds here. Good, keep the chin nice and high, shoulders back. In eight seconds, we're gonna have a squat and press. Three, two, one. Legs right outside of the hips, touch, press. So you're looking for a symmetry between the arms and the legs. Slowly try to dig low enough to touch your elbows to your thighs. And at the top of the press, keep going guys. At the top of your press, try not to stretch back. Okay? In four seconds, let's add a little calf raise. Three, two, calf raise. Push. So keep those shoulders nice and active. And the beauty about this class is that you can pretty much go at your own pace as long as you're pressing and as long as you're pushing hard, okay? 10 seconds here. All right, in five seconds, we're gonna turn this into an inchworm. We're gonna turn to the side. In three, two, one. Keep the legs straight. Walk out into a plank. Walk back. Swing open. Okay? So each rep, you want to get a little faster. Hit the plank. We have 10 more seconds of this. Good. In five seconds, we're going to turn this into a jump back. Looks like an inchworm, but you're going to jump, jump out. Okay, in three, two, one. Jump up, jump out. Good. Every time you jump out, you want to jump right into that plank. So keep the hips nice and flat. Yeah, jump out, squeeze the glutes, come right back in. In five seconds, we're going to hold that plank. Three, two, one. Stationary plank. So letting that heart rate come down again. We're here for 20 seconds. Show me that those shoulders are right over your wrist. Keep the hips pretty level with the chest. And engage your core to stay afloat. Very good. In three seconds, we're gonna hold this move, but add a hip extension. Three, two, one. Now, the legs lift, but your hips do not. So we're still using the core to hold the position to stabilize the move. Meanwhile, we're opening up the hips. We have 10 seconds here. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. Keep the hips level. Good, in three seconds, come on down onto your elbows. We have a twisting plank. Open up, come back to plank, twist the other way. Good. Again, it's important for us to warm up these inner set of muscles in order to get the most out of the bigs, right? So warming up the inner core so we can really work toward that six pack. In three seconds, we're gonna turn this into a plank up. Three, two, so we go. 
Up onto the right hand first, down onto the right elbow. Up onto the left, down onto the left. You're gonna keep alternating like that, making sure the hips follow the arms. So when you're up on your arms, or you're up on your hands, your hips are physically higher. When you're down onto your elbows, your hips are physically lower. We have four seconds. Three, two, walk up. All right, we have a rear lunge, alternating rear lunge. So step back, lunge, and switch. What I'm looking for on your lunge is that the back knee hits that 90 degree angle, so does the front. You're keeping your posture even at the lowest part of your lunge. In five seconds, we're gonna add a twist. Okay, twist over the front leg. Three, two, one. Lunge, twist. 20 seconds. Good guys, stay in this. This is just the warm up. You see, I'm out of breath too. Good, 10 seconds. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Warm up done, you have about 45 seconds to grab some water, to set up. We're gonna start with the shoulders. So we're gonna hit every major muscle group, starting with the little shoulders. Okay, so light weights if you have them, whatever light means to you, light containers of whatever. And if you don't, if you don't have weights, you can just simulate the movement, okay? Let me check in on my peeps. All right, we have 10 seconds to grab those light weights or loads. We're gonna start with 10 reps of an overhead press, followed by 10 reps of jumping jacks. In four, three, two, let's go. So we're in the first minute here. The first minute is about range and form, okay? So I wanna see high arms at the top, squeezing up through the shoulders, Nice stable core. Once you're done with those 10, 10 quick jumping jacks. Three, four, five. You're gonna go at your own pace, but this is the right time to push it right here. Good, I don't know if that's 10, but it felt like 10. All right, come right back to your weights. Hey, okay, we have 20 seconds in this first round. We're looking for form. What I'm looking for also is that you're not giving into your lower back. Keep that core and that posture super stable. Come over the head and press. All right, in four seconds, we're gonna hit the second minute, okay? In minute number two, it's all about core stability, okay? So we're getting a little bit more fatigue in this second minute. That's where we use, keep going guys, that's where we use the big, okay? The abs, the glutes, upper back to keep us in it. So core stabilization in the second minute. Keep going, guys. Okay, you're going at your own pace, so I want you to push it as hard as you can push it. Okay, remember, push. Okay, we're about halfway through the three minutes. Push, five, four, three, two, weights down. Now, don't lose time and don't lose reps on that transition. Ready? It's not that time during the transition. It's transition time. All right. I think that was 10. I'm so not counting. All right. <laughs> Come on up. All right. Guys, we're approaching this last minute. Okay? Keep going. In this last minute, it's all about power and speed. Okay? So put it all together. Put your form, your good technique and form together. Put the core stability. And now, give me a little extra. We have 45 seconds, so the goal is to get two more sets of one of those exercises in and one more set of the opposite. Come on, we have 35. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 30 seconds, guys. I totally went to eight. I'm such a dancer. Okay, I'll add two more in the next one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, I'm doing 12 of these, I have 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 
time. Eight, push, seven, six, five, four. You guys have five seconds. Push it to the end. In four, three, two. Very good, round one is done. You have about 25 seconds to transition into your chest loads. We're going to be doing a chest press, or if you have lighter weights, a chest fly on the floor. Then we're gonna flip over and do 10 push-ups. 10 chest presses or flies, followed by 10 push-ups. Come on down to your mat, okay? We're gonna break that three minutes up similarly to what we just did, okay? We have five seconds. 10 chest presses or flies. Three, two, let's go. 10 of them. Go at your own pace, but as far as form, your elbows drop low enough to hover over the floor. Right, try not to touch the floor though. And then just like in your overhead press, the straight arms meet at the top. Now if you wanna add a little extra to this move, hips up, right? Once you're done with your 10, quickly turn over. Wide hands on the push-ups. Nose, I'm sorry, knees or toes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip back over, okay? So remember, you don't have to go at my speed. You can try to beat me, or you can go a little slower for your own preference. This is your workout. You make it what you want it and need it to be, okay? So 10 and 10. We're in the second minute, guys. So second minute is all about core stability. How can I use the abs, the glutes, and the back to support the other little muscles, okay? Five. Six, that's my six. Where are you? Where are you in the set? Good, okay. Back to those push-ups. You know your girl loves her some push-ups. I wanna see those hands super wide, wider than the elbows. If you're whether on your knees or your toes, your chest is gonna stop at your elbow line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. All right, we're approaching that last minute, guys. Stay in this. Good. Okay, as we approach that last minute, I want you to think about putting it together. Show me the ultimate display of speed, power, and resilience. All right, we're in that last minute, guys. Give me power under the weights on the chest press if you're on your chest press. Show me power over the arms if you're doing a push-up. Either way, we have 40 seconds, and the goal is to see in two more sets of exercise one, and one more ex uh, set of exercise two, whatever that means to you. Okay, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, 18 seconds. Can we sneak in our last round right here? Nine, eight, seven. We have 10 seconds, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, push, two, one. Very good. All right, 30 seconds to transition. We're gonna move to the back, okay? Your two moves are a rear delt raise, so you have a slight hinge, slight bend at the knees, open the chest, shoulders retracted, you're gonna pull the weights and the arms wide and squeeze the upper back at the top, okay? Then we're gonna drop down and do plank rows, okay? One elbow up, other elbow up for the upper back. Every right elbow is one rep, all right? Three seconds to go. Three, two, one. Rear delt raise, okay? I wanna see your chest. I wanna see your shoulders retracted and we're practicing good form and maximum range here. Good, six, seven, eight. Squeeze through the upper back, nine, 10. You can do your plank rows with or without weights, it's up to you. Okay. Whoop. Now on the form, we're gonna keep the hips as flat as possible while we perform the row. You're gonna keep the shoulders right over the hand 
as you perform the row. Okay, four. And five. Minute number two is approaching. Six. Push, push. Seven. Come on, guys, stay with me. Eight. Flat hips. Keep the plank intact. Nine. Ten. All right, keep going. Keep going, switch your exercise. So we're well within this second minute. What I wanna see is a real focus on the abs and the glutes, all the muscles that make up the core, okay? So as you're doing your delt raise, I wanna see flat back, but a hinge back. I wanna see good stability and support from the glutes. All of that stays put, only the back, arms, and shoulders move. Nothing else, not your neck, not your lower back, nothing but upper back, shoulders and arms, okay? We're in our last minute here. Last minute, put it all together and use the most important, the most important muscle we have, the brain, to tell yourself that you can push it through this last 50 seconds. So let's go. Up, two, three, four, squeeze. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, come on down. All right, we have 35 seconds. The goal is to sneak one more set of each of these exercises in. Five, six, you got this guys. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, we have 15 seconds. I'm gonna stay here and push you because when I'm so focused on myself, I can't focus on you. So we have eight seconds, guys. I want you to finish off and finish strong in four, three, two, one. Awesome. We have 30 seconds, and then we're gonna move to the legs. Give the upper body a break. Okay, you're gonna pick your heaviest weight or weights. Our first move is a squat and press, just like we did in the warm up. You wanna have weights, if you don't have weights, you can do this with body weight, okay? Your second move is a squat jump. Touch the floor, jump up, or you can reach up if you have neighbors below you. Okay, grab your weight. We have five seconds. Three, two, one, squat press. I need 10 of these. Everything is 10 reps. Good, four, five. Six, seven, eight, push, nine, ten, drop the weight, ten squat jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch back to squat and press, I'm going to try to coach you now, okay, on your squat and press, focusing on form and range, keep your posture, sit low enough to dig into the heels and to touch those elbows to your thighs. Keep going, guys. 10 reps. If you're on your squat jumps, I still want to see your face and your chest at the lowest part of your squat. At the top of your jump, I want you to squeeze those glutes, okay? We're in minute number two. You know what we do on minute number two. We use the bigs to support the little. Okay, so when you're squatting press, the first thing I want you to do before you squeeze or you press is to squeeze your glutes. Squeeze it right here. Four, five, six, squeeze, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, what I want to see, core stability wise, is on your jump, you're having some hang time. Okay, all right, hang, two, three. Remember, if you're modifying, you're here, and you're the quickest person on the view. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going, switch back to your chest, I mean, your squat press. All right, we're in the last minute, guys. The very last minute. I wanna see sheer grip here. I wanna see you bust out those squat and presses. Follow it up with dynamic 
and explosive squat jumps. We have 40 seconds. The goal is one more deep, powerful set of each of these exercises. So let's see it. We have 30 seconds. I need you to push. Press. Three, four, five, six. You got it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You have one more set in you. I know you do. Okay? Come on with it. We have ten seconds. All right. Eight. Finish. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. All right. Let's go down to the mat. We're going to focus on the core. Well, we've been focusing on the core the whole time, but a more targeted focus. So you're going to grab any size weights that you'd like for dead bugs. Dead bugs is this move. Sit up, touch opposite weight to opposite toe, and we're going to follow that up with 10 bicycle crunches. Every right elbow twist is one rep. Okay, five seconds to set it up. In three, two, one, with your dead bugs. Every right touch is one. Since we focus on form and range on this first set, what I want to see is that your lower back is fully off the floor and that your leg is straight if it can be. Keep going. 20, 10. Little reps, which means 20 in total. Okay, once you're done, you're gonna keep your back off the floor for your bicycles, okay? That's how we really maximize the core workout here. Every right twist is one. Seven, eight, nine, back to your dead bug, okay? Minimize the transition time. I see you, Allie. Represent for the PT abs, yo. <laughs> Love you, girl. Sit up, keep going, guys. All right, we're in the second minute here. You know the drill. Core stability, core power here. So before you sit up in your dead bugs, squeeze your abs, tuck your chin, use the power of your abs, not your neck, not your head, to get into those dead bugs. On your bicycle crunches, if you absolutely need to lay back, I want you to focus on your abs and not your neck. Okay, again, you can avoid all that by just sitting up, okay? 10 and 10, 10 dead bugs, 10 bicycles, but it works out to be 20 and 20. Don't roll your eyes, you're built for this, all right? You're built for this. We have one minute, in one minute, I wanna see the quickest, most explosive movements. Good, four, five, Six, seven, eight, come on, nine, ten, bicycle, we have 40 seconds, come on bicycle crunches, five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, twist up the abs, four, three, two, one, all right. I'm gonna stop my personal workout to coach you. Because when I'm all focused on me, I'm focused on nothing else. I wanna push you through this last 15. Let's get to a new set and let's push it right here. We have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, finish, seven, six, finish, five, four, three, two, one. You got it. You're doing great, guys. Stay in it. Stay in it. We're more for well, We're about halfway through. Okay? We're going to move into the tricep. Tricep sequence. You're going to pick up your lightest weight. Okay? We're going to do standing or kneeling tricep kickbacks. Okay? As an alternative, you can also do standing or kneeling overhead press. Okay? And then we're going to do a round of triceps push-ups. Elbows in super tight. Knees or elbows coming down and up. Okay? Four seconds to grab your light weight. Four, three, two, let's go. So if we're talking technique, elbows are high, 
These weights travel from 180 to 90. So from the hip up to the ceiling. I lost my count, but I think this is seven. And six. Good, shoulders are back. Your neck is neutral. Once you're done with your 10, come on down, give me my 10 perfect triceps push-ups. And by perfect, I mean the elbows come in, not out. Here's what I mean. Elbows in, okay? That was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Go on back, okay? If you're on your triceps kickbacks, show me that high elbow. Now, what I wanna focus on is this little wrist. A lot of people think if they twist that wrist, you're gonna get a little extra, you're doing nothing but aggravating your wrist. I want you to have a, a nice firm grasp on your weight and your arm stops wherever your elbow stops you. There's no follow through with the wrist, okay? So give me 10 on each side. You can do those together or alternate. If you're in your triceps push-ups, these are the tricky ones. So your arms set up like a plank and your elbows actually graze the side of your body, okay? So whether you're on your knees or toes, I want you to be touching the elbows to the sides each time. All right, we're approaching that last minute. The goal is to get two more sets of each of these exercises in. One minute to do it. So if you're in your triceps, kick back. Come on with it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's push. Triceps, push ups. Push it with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have 30 seconds. I need you to push this. I need to focus on you here. So that's why I'm up. But I'm the teacher. You're the fitness seeker. You're still going. Don't stop, because I stopped. 20 seconds. And trust and believe that if I could go, I would go, because I'm just built like that. Right, Sean? <laughs> 10 seconds. I need you to finish. For seven, six, five, four, three, finish, two, one. Excellent. All right, let's move on. We're gonna move on to biceps. You're gonna pick medium to heavy weights or loads uh, to begin with. And we're just gonna do a basic hammer curl. Okay, so elbows in, shoulders back. We're gonna run these weights from the outer thigh all the way up to the shoulder. Trick being not to move your elbows. Okay, once we're done with that, we're down into plank. We're gonna do shoulder taps using the biceps to carry the hand across the body. We have three seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. 10 and 10. Good, two, three, yeah. Shoulders are back. Elbows are locked in. Control on the way down. That has to be 10. I'm gonna do two more anyway. Good, all right. Let's set up into our plank. Excuse me here. All right, so you're in your plank. Tap, two, three, four. Yes, every right tap is one. Six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, back to your hammer curls. I want guns like Juliet Stovall. So this is the move that I do. Hey, Juliet. Hey. So again, core stability in the second, second minute. Light bend at the knees, light hinge at the hips so that the glutes can support the lower back. Now we're gonna use the keep going. We're gonna use the big back muscles to pull these shoulders back. That's how we support the shoulders and the chest. All right, go on 10 and 10. Come on down, give me those shoulder taps. Get on your hammer curl. We're focused on the core here and not moving to pull the weights. We don't need to move the lower back to work the biceps. We're not gonna bail the biceps out by using the wrist and the neck and the back, 
we're approaching that last minute, so let's finish strong. The goal is two more sets of each of these exercises. We have a minute and five seconds to do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifty seconds, guys. How many more of these reps can you get in? If you ever need to kind of scale down, you can choose lighter weight or you can alternate any of these single arm or single side movements. Six, seven, eight, shoulders back, chins up, 10. All right, we're in the home stretch, guys. Switch, we have 25 seconds. Can you stick in there for the 20? That's a rhetorical question. You will stick in. You are built for this. You are dynamic. You are mighty. You are strong. At least for the 10 seconds you are. So finish. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You did that. All right, let's move back to the legs. Again, giving that upper body a little break. You're gonna pick any size weights that you'd like to use for your lunges, okay? Just gonna kinda roll this up. Okay, clear my space. Both in the front and the rear. Gonna pick up some weight. We're gonna do a low pulsing lunge, 10 bounces, okay? Then we're gonna stand up. We're gonna take that back leg and do 10 heel taps. Go right back into lunges. We have three seconds. Two, one. So my right leg is back. I'm gonna sit low. Ten, nine. Good. So we're focused on the 90s at the knees. The shoulders right over the hips. And nice movement through the bounce. Okay, since my right leg was back, I'm gonna tap my right heel. Working the abs, stabilizing on that left leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same leg. Don't switch. Right leg is back again. Still working on form and range. Sit low. Keep the knee right over that front shoe. Five. Shoulders back. Squeeze through the glutes. Good. Take the back leg. If you want to add a weight to this, you can. We have 10 of these. Nine, eight, seven, six. If you want to add a little impact, four, three, two, one. Same side. Don't you dare switch. I can see you. Know that I can see you. Don't you dare switch. We're going to switch to the other leg on the next round. So let's stay on the same leg just to keep the right amount of load on both sides. Okay, we're well within minute number two. How can we use the abs and glutes to stay postured and to stay strong throughout this lunge? Remember, 10 pulses, driving up through the glutes, keeping the shoulders back. When we do our heel tap, we wanna try to pull the upper body and the lower body together, and not just the upper body, not just the leg. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're well within our last minute. Don't stop. We're well within it. So go back to your lunge. I want this to be the deepest, most powerful lunge ever. We have 40 seconds. The goal is two more sets of whatever exercise you're on and one more set of the next exercise. We have 30 seconds to squash this, to check it off our list, okay? 29 seconds. This is where you make your push, all right? This is where you go faster. This is where you go harder. This is where you use that most powerful tool that we have to tell your body that you've got this. We have 10 seconds, guys. Nine, eight, seven, finish, six, five, four, Three, two, excellent. This next set is gonna be super easy. It's the same thing we just did, but we're gonna switch legs. So this time, your left leg's gonna be back. We're gonna do our pulsing lunge there. Then we're gonna heel tap that left, left heel. 
Remember your options for going more low impact and for ratcheting it up, okay? All right, let's grab the same weights that you use on the other leg. Of course, if you don't have weights, no worries, it still hurts. Left leg back. Three, two, dip, and pulse. So it's about two inches worth of movement. Keep going, guys. We're gonna turn this way. So you're basically keeping the 90 the entire way, and you're driving that back knee as close to the floor as possible. Shoulders are right over the hips. All right, heel tapped. Up, good. I think I'm on the wrong, no, I'm, yeah, I'm on the wrong foot. I was like, whoa, that leg feels extra heavy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go back to your lunges. Okay, we're still in minute number one. As we think about minute number two, think about that posture. Keep going, guys. You're not gonna pull your shoulders and weight over that front leg, right? We're gonna keep the heaviest load, shoulders, core, weight, right over the area of the body that we wanna work. That's quads and glutes, okay? We're in the second minute, guys. This is where we focus in on that. Shoulders are back, okay? Everything aligned through the upper body. Your movement is vertical, not forward and back. So you dig into that, and the movement is straight down and up, not up, down, forward and back. That's cardio dance. That's tomorrow at 1.30. This is shred though. So technique and form matter, okay? So we're pulsing there, we come up, we take that back leg, we tap the heel. At the connection point, that's where we have the ab work. So really shoot that leg up, expand on the opening, close on the tap. We have our last minute coming up. One more minute, guys. You guys know the drill by now. In this last minute, I need to see your push. I need to see your hustle. So in the next 50 seconds, I wanna see at least two more sets of each of these exercises. That means give me speed, Give me power and give me grit. Let's go. 40 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 30 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, 25 seconds. Ten, nine, eight. You got this. Dig deep. I know those legs are hurting. You know why I know? Because I designed this class, y'all. And I've done this whole class, y'all. I know what you're feeling right now. Okay, we have six seconds. I need you to finish. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoop to the whoop. Here's the good news. We just have one more round and then we cool down. Okay, this one, I think you're gonna like. We're going to do 10 reps of hip bridges. You can use a weight on your lap if you'd like. Otherwise, you can go weightless. Then we're gonna grab a weight and we're gonna do 10 Russian twists. Again, that's a move you can do without weight. Okay, so we have five seconds to set it up. Four, three, two, hip bridge. Squeeze up. I want you to find your highest point at the top. And I also want you to squeeze your glutes before you even move so that the lower back doesn't try to take over this move. Good. Eight, nine, ten. You can keep the weight, grab the weight or lose the weight. Okay, you're gonna twist from side to side. I like to simulate putting the weight on the floor. Every right twist is one. Don't act like you didn't know that. I know you know that. Eight, nine, ten. Come on back. If you want to add a little girth to this move, you can give me a straight leg hip bridge. That means keep your straight leg below the line of the knee. You get a little bit more resistance that way. Okay, six, seven, eight. Remember which leg you extended because you're going to switch next time. All right, you want to elevate this Russian twist. Pick up your feet. Give me the same twist though. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're well within minute two. Core, glutes, abs. Okay, I'm gonna switch legs. I'm not letting this leg fly. No, no, no. We're gonna keep this straight leg parallel to the floor. That's where we get maximum added resistance. Five, four, three, two, one. Are we gonna take these Russian twists up a notch, Sean? How about it, Allie? Straight legs. Come on, Jeremy. Twist, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ouch, ouch. 50 seconds, power, speed. Now listen guys, keep going. In the last 45, this is the last block in the last round. What else you have to do today? Nothing. So I want you to give me your all. I'm sure you have stuff to do. But that's not the point. In 30 seconds, give me one more round of each of these exercises in the quickest, most powerful manner that you can. Let's go. You got this. We're gonna finish. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, Russian twist. We have 15 seconds to finish. Five, four, three, two. We have eight seconds. Come on, guys. Come on with it. For five, four, three, two. Air hug. Air high five. We did it. We did it. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, let's cool down. That was awesome. Before you lay down again, I just want that heart rate to come down. So maybe let's stand up. Okay, keep the head over the heart. Keep all that blood flowing. Let the air get into the lungs. Let's open up into a chest stretch. Now, I don't know if you saw my post earlier, but you're definitely gonna need some TLC after all of this. So, how about some mimosas? How about some stretch and mobility? Go into a tricep stretch. How about tomorrow at 11.30 a.m.? Call mobility and mimosas, okay? We're gonna do some deep uh, tissue stretching, some foam rolling if you have a foam roller switch. All right, some myofascial release. And then we're gonna do some active and static stretches that help you guys get the most out of all of these workouts virtual and when you come back to the gym, okay? Go ahead and uh, link the hands or lace the hands. Pull down, open up the chest and shoulders. I am sweating. Woo! <laughs> All right, come ahead, let's stretch out the upper back. We use that upper back today to help neutralize added stress on the shoulders and the lower back, so we need to give it some love here, okay? While we're standing, let's grab our right foot for a little quad stretch. If you need to hold on to something, do that. Otherwise, over-engage your abs to stay balanced. Once you do get that balance, pull back on the hip, open up the hip flexors. All those lunges and squats we did, bridges, hip flexors are always crying about being overworked. They are overworked. We do all of that, plus now we're teleworking and sitting more often, so we need to show these hip flexors some love. Today and tomorrow at 11.30. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and put one leg forward. Gently pull up on that shoe. If you flatten your back and pull your chest into your leg, you'll feel that calf stretch a little deeper. Switch. How you guys feeling? Good, I hope. All right. Give me flat legs, pull your flat chest into both legs. This is for your hamstrings. I'll turn to the side. Okay, we're gonna roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. At the top, we're gonna lace the arm or the hands, and we're gonna push up, opening up those lats, abs, obliques. Good, give me a nice deep inhale, stretch wide first, high second. Exhale, loosen low. Give me one more. On the last exhale, give yourself a hand. Give yourself a pat on the back. I will see you this time next week, hopefully sooner, as in tomorrow, for cut at 10.30.
then mobility and mimosas at 11.30, and then if you really doubt that life, at 1.30 for cardio dance. You guys are amazing today, I'll see you next time. Good job.